Hey Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to do the herringbone technique, which you can see on this thank you card that I made right along here. The herringbone technique is a great technique to use up scraps of your designer paper. You just want to cut it into strips, and for this particular card I used half inch strips of the Fresh Prints designer paper. So let's set this aside and bring in what we need. So you're going to need a scrap piece of cardstock. I like to use a neutral. Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter, but I do always have a lot of scraps of white and vanilla, so that kind of is the first choice of mine. You're going to need a piece of the adhesive sheet that matches the size of your cardstock, or it can be a little bit bigger. And then you're going to need some strips of your designer paper. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is peel off um, the backing from your adhesive sheet and I like to start with the side with the writing on it and then it's quite sticky um, I just stick my cardstock right over top of it and you just want to be careful that you're not getting your fingers stuck in the rest of the adhesive sheet because um, it will take the sticky off of it and then it won't work for you alright so that's all stuck on and then I'm going to peel off this side here so you can see that it is sticky on the side there. So then you want to pull in some designer paper strips and here are my already prepared strips from the Fresh Prints stack. I love that designer paper stack. I'm going to miss it when it's gone for sure. And then you just want to start laying them on. So um, the first one I'm going to start with here and you just want to lay it on at an angle like so. Give it a good press and then you're going to take another one and you want to put it on perpendicular to your first one. So we're just going to go down like that. Okay, so you can see I'm left with some areas to fill in and I'm going to go ahead and start filling them in just because I have a small um, a small area here that I'm working with. If I was doing a larger card base, I would put another piece of this on um, over here at a perpendicular angle um, and then make myself four quadrants to fill in but you'll see how that fills in here with a smaller piece pretty quick so let's do this so you're just gonna lay your strips on like so okay so like that and like that and you can see that they're hanging off the edge that's okay we're gonna clean all that up later um, and let's stick them on over here Kind of really no rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this other than I am doing um, four different patterns from the stack and I'm just alternating them as I go. So you'll see that some of my strips are smaller because they're scraps um, and you just want to just go ahead and stick them on. You always need a straight edge to stick them on like that. Okay so this area here I want to divide it into two areas. Um, so to do that I'm going to start by sticking one of these pieces on and I'm just going to put one of each of my four patterns on um, and by doing this I'm going to create another little quadrant that I can use to fill in with um, the remaining strips that I have okay so like so so you can see I've done all four and then I have this little piece left over right here in the corner so I'm just going to again fill that in. I am going to start on this side though just because I have a little bit of a straight edge to butt up against here with this piece. Okay and then we'll put this one on and I'm going to finish with this one. Okay so we're done with our scraps here so we can set those off to the side and then we just want to trim it up. Um, so you're going to need your snips for that um, and I like to do it from the back so this way I can see exactly where I need to cut. I can just cut along the lines here. So quickly and easily you're just going to snip and you can reuse these strips for another project. What you want to do though is make sure that you are using a straight edge so you can see as I'm cutting them um, the strips are getting an angled edge on one end so if you are using it for another project, just trim that straight so that you have nice straight edges. That's key for this project. And just a little bit more and a little off this side and we're all done. Okay, so that's all trimmed up nicely. 
All right, and there you have it. So I'll bring back the card again so you can have another look. You can see that it's down here. A nice simple project, a nice simple technique, and you're for sure going to get a wow if you give somebody a card like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an inspired day.